I'm really mm -hmm. grateful. It's, it's a wonderful experience to be able to share what's going on in this work. And I've already got you here on this table. Ordinarily, we'd stop at the door and have a little chat about what this work is about. So thank you for getting on the table. And now, I'll just explain what I'm working with. Craniosacral therapy, and I'm working at an advanced level with craniosacral therapy. And I say advanced because uh, the founder of craniosacral therapy, Dr. John Upledger, was a mentor of mine. He taught me. And, and I've had some other pretty wonderful therapists and doctors and founders, Dr. Bruno Chickley, founder of Lymphatic Drainage, and Dr. Jean-Pierre Borel, who is quite famous in the world of visceral manipulation. It was in the Time magazine, in fact. And they've all worked with me, and there's something called in training, so that when I've had these people teach me and work with me and work in my body, I actually end up able to call on their abilities in my two hands. And there's extra skills when you're at the advanced level of craniosacral therapy, and that's something that I can say I can do. Craniosacral therapy focuses on the movement of the cerebral spinal fluid between your cranium and your tailbone. And it's actually got a motion of 10 to 12, and it's with a hydraulic movement of 10 to 12 movements, flows up and down per minute in adults, people, period. Just like we breathe, we have respirations, and just like we have um, pulses with our heart motions. So there's three movements in the body. And this craniosacral movement is critical. Wherever there is, it's not flowing easily in the body or in the cranium, the effects can be profoundly different. It can make pain, it can make organs that don't function, it can create depression. For example, this is really a critical one. You know, postpartum depression, there's, there's inside your brain, there's the sphenobasilar joint, and there's the occipital axis that has its own kind of a joint, and then there's the lumbosacral joint. Postpartum depression is when all three of those are stuck. They need just help to move, not a drug. Hmm. So back to what it is that's happening that makes this special, and it's Pretty much, they say it's a gentle hands-on um, work, but there's pressure involved. And the pressure that I use is to match the pressure in your body, and then I add five grams, which is the weight of a nickel. And that allows the body to do its own sorting out, basically. The other really critical piece of craniosacral therapy is that I'm working with the connective tissue. Well, that's like a great big elastic stocking of the body, and it's wrapped up 99%. And you know, if you took the insides out of a chicken, that stringy stuff, well, that's the connective tissue. And in some places of the body, it's as thin as the skin on a hard-boiled egg. And some places, like the where it holds up the intestines, it's as thick as the rubber band on broccoli. And every piece of that is connected everywhere. So there have been people that have come to me and they've had um, an old ankle injury, but that's making migraine headaches. Mm -hmm. And what happens, this is like the, the frog research, you know, if you heard about that? Mm -hmm. Well, they put a frog, they boil a pot of water and they put the frog in and he jumped out. But when they put a frog into a frying pan or just a pot, and it was cold water, but they heated the water up, the frog stayed in the water got real used to it. So as we go through life, when we have injuries or traumas or a little kid frightened with our tummy, that area gets hot. And that, with this really fine connective tissue, gets like a um, saran wrap up against a, an iron. So we get a ball here and a ball here and a ball here, all through the body. Until all of a sudden, there's this like a tipping point and the body starts having a pain or a problem somewhere but it may not be at all related to that particular region, and it can be misdiagnosed. So in this work, I literally have been taught to tune in and see what is the most critical for this session. And your body and you, you in a wise place, will show me. And that's where we'll focus. 
at the very beginning, the very first session, I want to make sure these diaphragms are free and open before we get here into the cranium. So there's this flow that gets to be really nice. Got a question? Is there something else I should be telling you at the beginning here? You get to sleep. Some people sleep. Some people remember things. They really do. There's like a total memory of the body on each area that's got its story. Actually can remember. I had a woman the other day that said, didn't believe me? She didn't believe this was the case. And she was, I was working on her neck and she, oh my God, she said. I had no idea. I forgot that even happened. She was five years old. Hmm. Riding the bike, fell off the bike, too big a bike for her, hit her head really badly, and they had to take her to the hospital. She even forgot the problem. Hmm. But here she is with chronic headaches and pressure in her head, and it's hampering her work. That's the magic of this work. I get to, I guess it would be like, it is magic. It's like, um... Discovering, discovering, and helping you discover. Another aspect of this work that people can choose, so it works with PTSD or it works with teenagers that have serious emotional trauma, and they can sleep through the session, but it's still working when it's a teen. But if you choose something called somato-emotional release, I can just with my hands find sort of a key spot and then help guide you to the story, the picture that's sitting there. And then we can come to the place where there were belief systems established and things that, it's almost like a keystone. You know the wall and you find the keystone and everything comes tumbling down? A bit like dominoes. You get the right one and tickety, tickety, tickety. And that's how come I'm healthy. I got into this work when I had chronic fatigue syndrome. No hope as far as I was concerned. Terrible bad back, terrible injured shoulder and broken ankle and on and on and on. And I really have more vibrant health now than I ever had before I learned about craniosacral ther therapy and the advanced modalities that I have. So if you're interested, and this is just tweak tweaked your interest, and or you have issues that you really don't have answers for, why not just connect with me? Contact me through my website, creatinghealthfreedom.com. I'm on Facebook, Marion Roper. And I have a Facebook page, Craniosacral Therapy Advanced with Marion Roper. And we can discuss what, is your, what your concerns are for you or your family. And I really look forward to meeting with you and making a difference in your life.